kind of musical starts December first. Don't you? No, that is not Sharif, but it is the man who offered Tony Dungy the USC job. Most people say they make prank phone calls. I do it. He wants to be a journalist. He believes he's doing a public service. You've heard about him. Tonight, we reveal the man on the other end of the phone. He's not an international man of mystery. Yeah, baby. <laughs> he is Kenny Tarr. And the mystery will be revealed in due time. You know, fans have expectations for athletes and... We will discuss the outrage like the Miami Dolphins. Lauren, you know why? Well, and again, journalism and sports media Society doesn't need to deal with bullies anymore. You know why? At this point, everyone is better than that. I'm in the new frontier of broadcast journalism and sports media. Actually, he's on his own planet, duping people into giving him information. You've never met anyone on par with Kenny Tarr. You like social media? Then use it. can wait, you know, let's have a good time, and then say the well. Paul Stanley and Kiss shook up the establishment, and that's exactly what Kenny Tark is trying to do. Now, Kenny Tark fancies himself a journalist, but calling his methods unconventional would be going easy on him. By the way, if you don't know Kenny Tarr, you're about to. I got the inside story with a man behind the mysterious caller ID. In the world of journalism, everybody's after the exclusive. Who can get the information first? This man says he can gather the best intel, and there's a good reason why. His name is Kenny Tarr, but you wouldn't know it if he called you. This is Ken Edwards. Hi, this is Miss Andy's call. This is uh, Sharif Elvis calling back. I'm in the new frontier of broadcast journalism and sports media and entertainment. His new frontier is journalism by misrepresentation. In search of that golden nugget of information, Tar often uses a fabricated name and a fake title. They're working uh, as a liaison here at the University of Texas. And, uh, and it gets him on the phone with almost anyone he wants. I've been hooked and calls since five years old. Most people say they make prank phone calls. I do it. I do it. I'm better at it than anyone else. My career momentum is going forward more than anyone else out there. Last month, Tony Dungy, former coach of the Colts and current analyst on Sunday Night Football, shared this on the Dan Patrick Show. As USC called you, uh, they haven't but, as they say, representatives of the organization have called, your people called my people. And Dan Patrick trying to get Tony Dungy denying that I was the one that spoke to him on the phone. You know what? I was. There was three other people that called. They were all me, too. <laughs> He does it to get information, and because he thinks it's funny. Ultimately, he thinks it might land him a job. I find it hard to believe that anybody would ever give you any type of serious journalistic position because you're operating against one of the basic principles of journalism. Right. If you weren't doing what you were doing for a living, what would you be doing? Probably be in the train. Like, what, what do you, you know, just you know, think I'd be wearing my wand around or something? Like, I don't know what you think. <laughs> what line of work should I be in? Like, what, what line of work did Brad Pitt be in? He's not an actor. I'm a performer. <laughs> Attention. Catheter patients on Medicaid.